Carmi Weininger, hi, it's me again, of the Reactor Panel Saddle Company, and we're going to talk about shoulder rotation and the effect on your saddle and your saddle fit. So a horse has the shoulder, the scapula, and we put our saddle about two fingers behind the back edge of the scapula, represented by this line, and that's where we put the front edge of our tree. And we then often feel pretty good that we're out of the way of the shoulder, and what we haven't realized is every time the horse takes a step and extends the forelimb, the shoulder actually rotates backward. And depending on the way the horse's shoulder is built, the shoulder apparatus will cross the plane of the front edge of your saddle. And every horse is different. Some have a high rotation, some have a medium rotation, and some get a bulge around the serratus muscles and the shoulder girdle. So understanding where your horse bulges is critical to understanding where your saddle has to have an open pocket to provide shoulder freedom for your horse. We've got the scapula marked and we've got the front edge of the saddle tree and thinking that we're two fingers behind the scapula, we think we're out of the way of the shoulder, but let's look at what happens when the horse actually takes a step. So have a helper, take your horse's front leg, and just lift it and gently pull it forward as though they're in the, in the extended part of a trot stride. And watch this bulge change. And you can see now that this bulge goes all the way to here. And so our idea that putting the saddle's front edge on this line would give shoulder freedom, we can see is not true. We either have to put the saddle's front edge on this line, which is ridiculously far back, or we have to ensure that we fit this part of the saddle with enough openness to allow the shoulder to rotate back past the front plane of the front edge of the saddle. And this bulge will be different on each horse, so this is absolutely something you should do with your own horse.